day, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my class. Again, Rolina Manzanillo Fajardo at your service. And if you are new to this channel, please, please subscribe because this would make a lot for me to help poor but deserving students in Aurora State College of Technology. So our lesson for today is about the four major Pagesian cognitive concepts. In which the first one is the what we call as the schema or schemata. Based on this concept, our mind is like a filing cabinet and each drawer has folders that contain files of things we had experienced. So when you say schema, it is an individual's way to understand or create meaning about a thing or experience. Let me give you a specific example of that. For example, if a child says a chicken for the first time, he creates his own schema of what a chicken is. It has two legs, feather, and wings. The child then puts this description on a chicken on a file or in his mind. When he sees another similar chicken, he pulls out the file or his schema of a chicken in his mind looks at the animal and says two legs feather and wings that is a chicken meaning the way an individual understand or create meaning about a thing or experience is called a schema then what about the concept of assimilation it is the process of fitting a new experience into an existing or previously created cognitive structure or schema. I'll give an example. If the child sees another chicken, this time a little smaller one, he would make sense of what he is seeing by adding this new information, a different looking chicken, into his schema of a chicken. This time, the child would say that a small chicken is yellow. It has beak but with little wings. So, from your schema, then if you got another information from it, then we call it as assimilation. What about the third Pugetian cognitive concept? Accommodation is the process of creating a new schema. Example, if the child sees another animal that looks like a little bit like a chicken, but somehow different, he might try to fit it into his schema of a chicken and say, Look, what a funny looking chicken. It has two legs and feather. Then someone explains that, that is not a final looking chicken. That is a bird. With someone's further descriptions, then the child will now create another schema. That of a bird. With that, he has something to add in his filing line or filing cabinet. Now, if you see the connection, accommodation is from schema to assimilation. Then what about equilibration? PJ believe that people have the natural need to understand how the world works and to find order, structure, and predictability in their life. Giving proper balance between assimilation and accommodation is called equilibration meaning as human we need to properly balance between assimilation and accommodation in which achieving proper balance between assimilation and accommodation is called equilibration this concept tells that when our experiences do not match our schemata or schema or cognitive structures we experience cognitive disequilibrium. Means there is inconsistency between what is observed and what is understood. 
we then exert effort through assimilation and accommodation to establish equilibrium once more. In this manner, we then exert effort through assimilation and accommodation to establish proper balance of them or establish equilibrium once more. In this manner, guidance of adults is very important to prevent an individual from cognitive disequilibrium. Remember that cognitive development involves continuous effort to the environment in terms of assimilation and accommodation. In this sense, Piaget's theory is similar in nature to other constructivist perspectives of learning like Brunner and Vygotsky. So that's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye! Thank you.